Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 'll criminal investigation on the Sega master system ported to and released by Taito in 1992 and based on the arcade machine of the same name that's a sequel to the original Chase HQ but was not called Chase HQ 2 in the arcades at the time because Chase HQ 2 at least in Japan or the original I should say was still performing so well they did not want to impact you know its sales and people pumping money into it but I always preferred this one for the simple fact that you're in uh, one of my favorite cars of all time a Nissan 300ZX, not going to say ZX because that's quite frankly incorrect and stupid sounding. And also you could fire out the roof. It was ported by Ocean to all the home ports, uh, all the usual micros I should say, and it was pretty pants across the board of them apart from on the 16-bit, which is a shame um, because the 8-bit versions of Chase HQ uh, on the micros apart from the Commodore 64 are uh, rather resplendent. But you would know that if you watched my channel, so I don't know why I'm reporting, uh, repeating, reporting, repeating all this pointless guff. Was this a European exclusive? Don't know, because obviously it's very late in the mass system's life, so I sincerely doubt it got released in North America, but again, don't know. It turns out I have not played this on the Master System, so I thought I would give it a go. I've played it on MAME and I've played it on PC Engine. The PC Engine version is absolutely fantastic, which is ironic considering how shit the original Chase HQ is on the PC Engine. But then that kind of lines up with this, because the original Chase HQ, which I've done a gameplay of on the Sega Master System, is also shit. Anyway, let's get into it. So you're the same cops. Gonna get any speed? Oh, there we go, because we don't have a start button. Press start button. It basically means A or B, or one or two. That's a nice screen. Player's car, T-bar roof, a V6 double overhead cam, 3000cc twin turbo engine. Oh, that's me, is it? Okay. Good to know. Uh, that's Nancy. There is no speech in this version. There is no speech on the original Master System version. But there is speech on the NES, which is weird because I thought the Master System was a port of the NES. Again, don't know. Right. So, what's Accelerate? Oh, that's Fire. Up is Accelerate. Backwards is Brake. Top left, score to the right of that, my time to the right of that distance, to the right of that stage. Underneath that, Shot. Don't know what that means. Underneath that uh, is... How fast I'm going, which is in kilometres, so it's incorrect, especially since you've realised that this game is set in America. I have noticed something kind of cool about the gun. Um, yeah, bottom left, speed, in digital representation, and then my turbos are to the right of that. I don't have gears, probably because not enough buttons. It looks like what it is, driving game on the mass system. Doesn't look as good as our run. Looks better than Chase HQ. Doesn't look terrible. I can fire a gun. I'll throw it. Some coins. Music's alright. Right, so do we have turbos? My distance is going down slower than the bro clockers. Right, that's my turbo. Adds that rather nice bit to the end of my tachometer. Why does it say taco? I thought that was a truck thing. By all means, don't correct me because I don't care. Oh, right. Now, you have endless bullets, and the bullets are ultimately for you to shoot the uh, people that you're trying to catch up with. Uh, but it seems to propel the enemy car back a little bit, which makes it quite handy when the road fills up, and you've got nowhere to go, and you don't want to see, and you don't want to slam into the back of one. Whether it's intended to do that, I sincerely doubt it. Can I drop me something? There we go. Uh, obviously, I won't fire now, because... I don't want to waste my rockets, but yeah. So, if you want a tight spot, take out your gun and empty a fucking clip or two into the civilians. Why? Because it stops you pranging your car. Right, let's get close. I don't want to miss with these bad boys. You only get three, I believe. That's where shot comes in. Five. Look at that. Oh, get back on the road. Which appears to be quite difficult. That'd use a turbo, hadn't I? Nice. 
surprisingly difficult to hear. Not anymore, though. See? Okay, this is kind of cool. It's really difficult to catch up with them, let alone hit them in the uh, original Master System version. And you're toast. That's easier than I thought it would be. Stays complete, no speeds, bonus, blah, 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 turbo. We get one turbo back. Oh, no, there's turbos left. Stop talking rubbish. I know nothing. Bob is the boss. Gibberish. The girl isn't the one you are looking for. Lookings for. Ha ha. I wish you hadn't bothered. I know nothing. Yeah, do you know what? I wish you hadn't bothered. High powered item, rocket launcher, five shots. Open channel code for. I thought it was going to say channel four van. A station wagon has. It's not a station wagon, Nancy, alright? It's a van. Coastline freeway. Oh, this is the bit with the sea where you can go in it, isn't it? With a girl aboard. She could be the missing. Joyce, get on it. What? Do you know what? Make it the, the van small and just fit all the speech. It would it would work. So it's not terrible. It was never going to be amazing on the Master System, but it certainly plays better than the original Chase HQ on the Master System. And the shooting is a nice feature, especially since whether, like I said, intended or not, you can use it to stop yourself hitting civilian cars. I quite like that. I don't know what reviews has got back in the day. It has a frame rate that runs in the negative. See, the thing is, right, people, and I just said it, I know that, but, you know, people say, this is so handy. It's a driving game on the Masters, and what do you expect? I expect stuff like OutRun, because OutRun is amazing on the Mass system. And to a lesser degree, so is OutRun 3D. Right. Bad guy. You can tell he's a bad guy, because he's facing me. <laughs> yeah, this is alright. I quite like this. I think that weird attribute at the side of the screen where it goes white, like, you know, someone getting beaten up in a comic book, is not actually emulation because I'm playing some of my Super Console Elves. It's just something that the Master System did. I should probably use a Turbos, but not here. They're Corvettes. If I was shooting a Corvette, fuck me, things are made out of plastic. I can't fire! Bollocks. It's also not that, because I can't fire because I want to save my rockets, it's also not that unforgiving when you hit the bad guys. I don't want to pull in the drink to test that, but, right, so, minivan. Not a station wagon, Nancy, a minivan. Ooh. Right. <laughs> that was funny. Did I miss a rocket point blank behind a minivan? He can drive for everyone because of course he can. Well, this is certainly easier than PC Engine version. I don't think that had gears either. That's my time. I'm not going to use my turbos. <clears throat> hey, let's shoot him into the drink! That's what you get for fucking obstructing justice, motherfucker. I'm overtaking him. Oh, see, I was a massive fan of the arcade back in the day, which I was. Uh, I would have quite liked this, that turbo, just to get back on the fucking road. Um, but obviously in 1992, I was in Super Famicom time. Because, you know, shit. Did you say we deliberately cut across me there? Yoink. Yeah, it's not much of a frame rate. I am aware of that. But if you love this back in the day, I'd love to know what you thought of it. Especially if you love the arcade. Because, I mean, the micro conversions by Ocean were shit. But the Spectrum one wasn't terrible. But after how good it was, you know, the original was, not you know, chasing to kill the Spectrum. It was just, yeah. Buddy, you got it wrong. I'm not Bob. This little guy isn't. The one you want. It doesn't work with those stalls. Seriously, game. I guess Bob is hiding on the other side of the mountain. Hilarity ensued. What happened to Tubbs' face on the right? Watch out for landslide. 
in Channel Code 4. What are we chasing? Bob Black, the Syndicate Gang Boss, is... I don't care, you take too long, Nancy. Note to dispatch, hire a man. Oh look, these things are bad. I wonder if I can shoot these. They do slow you down then. Not massively, but that's a nice touch. Tunnel effects all right. It's a chase HQ tunnel effect. It does what it does on the mass system when you go through the tunnels. It means you don't longer, no longer turn, you actually strafe. I think it's to do with limitations. Well, it must be to do with the limitations of the hardware. There's that weird screen ripage thing going on at the side. Ooh. See? Yeah, I'm sure somebody knows the hardware could explain it to me, but wait, don't care. It has fall forever to catch up with them. And where's this landslide I shouldn't be so terrified of? And the bird this feather came from. Oh! So all my turbos is gone. Wait, it only does it on that effect where you see the end of the tunnel. That's interesting. Have I got a rocket launcher? Ooh! There's too much shit on the road and I can't use my rocket launcher. How I avoided any of that, I don't know. You pull that on yourself, silly pigs. Shit. Why is it so hard to catch this guy up? Fuck it, I'll go back to my pistol. I don't... I didn't do that badly to not be able to catch him up, did I? What's going on? Maybe it's punishing me because it realised that the first two blokes were far too easy. Oh, there we go. He's armoured, isn't he? I think I get more damage from ramming him. I'm wait. I'm racing in the river. Yeah, he's armoured. Well, he's a gang boss, isn't he? You would hope he was armoured. Well, I don't hope he was armoured, but you know what I mean. I'm not, why did the road turn into a river? Because it does in the arcade day. God, he's... Well, again, he's armoured. He's taking an absolute fucking clobbering. Well, this is the first time I've ever played it, so... It's either incredibly easy... Or, well, I wouldn't say I was good at it, because look, but... 35 seconds. Oh, he's on fire. Yeah. That's what you get for buying a fucking Chrysler 300. I'm in a European car, technically. i just got to keep going and wait for his to break down, because it's American, and it will. Especially if it was made in the 80s. Harsh but fair, America. There we go. Special Criminal Investigations on the Sega Master System it is what it is. It's a very, very, you know, watered down 8-bit port of an arcade machine. It had no right to be able to do, but it does provide you with... Uh, special criminal investigations experience so that's kind of cool i would have liked it if it was doing i could play it back in the day but as i said i was in super famicom time so anyway as always i'd love to know what you think if you played this back in the day thank you very much for watching those cutscenes the pictures aren't too bad apart from weird creepy faces bloke over there but yeah just skip the fucking talking stuff anyway as always i'd love to know what you think thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later